Ladies and gentlemen, Cage Warriors Academy presents three three minute rounds in the amateur flyweight division. Introducing first in the blue corner, representing a renegade, Mo Zuba! And his opponent in the red corner, representing MMA Clinic Romford, Lee Turner! Flyweight action then here, Mo Zuba from Renegade in the all-black shorts and his opponents Lee Turner from MMA Clinic Romford in the white long cycle shorts Turner 1 and 0 Zubar who took this fight on at an amateur of hours notice 3 and 6 fair play to him for stepping up though and making sure Lee Turner can fight here tonight and most come out and tried to dominate the positioning Good job to get that takedown. Zubar, as you say, coming out fast. He took the fight in very late notice, maybe wants to start fast. I mean, Lee no, looking to, Lee's looking to slow things down. Lee with that one butterfly guard, looking to control the posture of Mo. And Lee's looking to sweep out that back door. Good job by Mo. Big discrepancy in experience, as I say. Zubar, nine fights. Lee Turner, this is just his second fight, so. Good opportunity to go up against an experienced opponent here. Cage Warriors Academy. Harry Selby maybe indicating they need to, or Zubar needs to improve his position. Yeah, I mean, one of the big things behind it, Zubar's look to possibly pass on that left leg, just push it down, get over into half guard posture up so he can land some punches. Right now he's just making life miserable for Lee. And there we go. We get the stand up just as Selby warned. So Zubar with the early takedown, can't do anything with it and now they're back to their feet. Ooh. Turner just ships a, a left hand there from Zubar. Zubar's throwing with bad intentions, heavy power, early doors. I, and with that right hand, he's throwing it kind of over the top. Trying to bait the young kid in. Absolutely, using that experience advantage. Head shot there from Lee Turner. And for Mo, it's, for Mo, it's about just trying to say, okay, what's this, what can this kid do to me and what can I do to him? And, well, that was the point I was trying to make in terms of him starting fast. Maybe he's a bit worried about the condition if it does go three rounds, being as he wasn't fighting until just a few hours ago. And that's certainly the way he came out fast. And that was a beautiful pickup of that leg. It wasn't even a kick. Lee had actually just lifted it for a check, and Mo just reached down grabbed it into a single leg. Zubar again gets the takedown and catches the leg. A long leg of Turner, and he's back in top position here. And again, he's in that dominant position. He's inside the guard. He's going to have to look to pass, otherwise he'll get stood up again. And now he has. Now looking to sit down on that leg, get that head in that good position, and then he can start to land some punches here. Turner's got a couple choices. He can either try to lock him down and look for a stand-up, or he's got to try to start to work to either get back to full guard, start getting that hips off, look for a sweep. There's a lot that can be done with him right now in this position, but he's got to move. There's a minute 40 left. I, realistically, he's losing this round by sitting on his back. 
that's the thing with the three minute rounds they go so quickly don't they that before long you've you lost a round you, you barely blinked I mean I try to tell guys in the room all the time when we're running rounds you have the rest of the night to relax bro give me every bit of energy you have now always moving you gotta keep moving anytime you're sitting as far as I'm concerned you're losing that round yep you can if say Turner is losing this round, as you say. And if he's setting up a submission, i.e. trying to isolate the arm or something along those lines, completely understand it. But it's right now it's more of he's got the back of the head trying to hold him down. Like to see him try to get a little bit more movement out of it, like he's doing now. There he goes. He goes back to guard. At least then I can see, okay, he's trying to figure out something to go. Yeah. That's a lot better from a coach's perspective. But Mo is doing everything right. He's got head underneath the chin, heavy on top. It's miserable to be on the bottom right now. Like, I feel for Turner. Yeah, I'm sure there's going to be about four or five people tomorrow that'll be in that same exact position. <laughs> Zubar's definitely winning this round again. Get that early takedown. And he's been imposing his will on Turner thus far. Without really landing any serious damage, but doing enough. Looks to posture up and land some shots as the round comes to a close. And there we go then. So on a few hours notice, Mo Zubar is on his way here. Third and final round then. Lee Turner needs to find something here. He's probably two rounds down in this clash with Mo Zubar here at Cage Warriors Academy 29. And to be fair to him, he does come out looking to land a big left hand. Zubar's talking to him in there. Powerful squat, Zubar. What can Turner do? Oh, he's got the leg, he's got Zubar down, has he? Wild scrambles. Oh, good job by Lee, coming out on top now. Now he needs to settle though, because he's, uh-oh. Gotta be careful. Yeah, don't out. leave that arm behind, but also make sure you push that arm through. So this is what Turner needs to do, he needs to come out aggressive. And he wants to look to continue to stack him, keep that head down, keep that arm through. He just wants to be careful when he attempts to posture up here. And that's what I meant by that. Zubar is on the arm, is he? Can't really see from this angle. He's got the triangle but it's not locked in deep. The arm's free. You have the triangle again. And again, he's working the arm on the far side. Good job by Turner. So Zubar threatening on multiple levels here. Lee's got to look to pop that head free like he's done. Now settle, settle, settle. There you go. Okay. And now Turner's going to find himself on the bottom with time running out. Job by Mo, get back to that dominant position. The minute left, he's going to have to look to pass. Lee's going to have to start throwing up submissions, be it triangles, arm bars, yeah, Oma Plata, we've go got go to that Plata, stage, haven't we? Gonna need something, something yeah. big. He needs to get a tap. He needs to stop Zubar here. I mean, even if it's something as far as just sweeping to the side and going for Kamara, Kamora and using that as a sweep. I mean, there are opportunities that he can do it even in the next 30 seconds. Yeah, if he stays here, he's gonna lose this fight. And Mo does is doing everything right. His head's in the right position, his hips are nice and tight inside. He's not leaving his arms behind. So 10 seconds left on a matter of hours notice. It looks like Mo Zubar is going to claim a win here over the brave, the game, Lee Turner. And at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. We scored about 30, 27, 29, 28.
and 3027. All three in favour of your winner by unanimous decision. In the blue corner, Mo Zuba!